Kenny Boyd did not reach its goal this year, but when that goal is reaching the state tournament for the first time in school history, you know that the program is headed in the right direction. As Coach Brad Patterson joins us now, and Brad, yeah, it was fifth place as a team at the 5A Region 2 meet, 13 points out of third place and a spot in the state meet. How did that day go for you in Arlington? What separated your team from that top three finish? Well, um, we, um, we just didn't run as well as we thought we would. If we'd have ran pretty much like we'd ran all year, we'd have been fine. And I don't know, maybe we put a little bit of pressure on ourselves because it's kind of traditional. That's the toughest region in the state with the Woodlands and, and Kingwood. And, and then College Park has gotten better this year too. But uh, So maybe there was a little added pressure there, I mean, that we were supposed to get out of. We, we knew we had a great chance. And I don't know, maybe we put a little pressure on ourselves and the kids Felt a little bit. I don't know. We just didn't have a great day. We had a little sickness too, but uh, just one of those things. It's, it came down to that day, and we didn't quite get it done. Like you say, it, it, it was a disappointment considering what you wanted to accomplish, but it shouldn't overshadow everything else that your team did this season. I go back to district, and you finished one through six and eighth in the, in that top ten uh, of the district meet. Did you think, you knew you'd be the favorite in that district, an overwhelming favorite, but did you think you'd be able to dominate like that? We thought we had a really good chance to have a perfect score, one through five at least, and then uh, Matt ran real well and was right there in six as well. So in a, in a sense we did. I mean, that's still a tough thing to do no matter what district you're in, but it, so that was a lot of fun. It's always nice to see all that red up front. No doubt. You had a lot of red up front early on in the season when you won a couple of events in Louisville. Always draws a tough crowd up there, tough meets. You won two of those. You won one in Round Rock at Old Settlers Park where the state meet was held. And that win in particular really gave your team confidence early on, didn't it? It did. It was a big boost to go up to, to a big meet like that. I mean, there were there were 20 plus teams there and, and to go out and, and win. And the kids, the kids ran a little bit different. They ran real smart that day. They didn't go out extremely fast and they uh, they ran a lot of people down at the end, and I think they gave them a lot of confidence to, to understand that they could, they could run in different ways. And it was a big win. I mean, we, we beat some people, and I guess we beat Georgetown. They ended up beating us at, at regional, but we beat them pretty handily there, and then they turned around and beat us by a few at regionals. But uh, it was a great day. Six of your top seven varsity runners were seniors. What kind of a difference does that veteran presence make? Well, most of them, with the exception of one or two, had, had ran at the regional meet at least two years, and most of them had ran all three years. So they had that experience. They knew what it was about. I mean, they were hungry to go out and, uh, and to make something happen. And again, maybe, maybe a little bit too much. If we could have relaxed a little bit and just ran normal, we'd have been all right. But uh, it, I mean, it was nice all year to, to have them so focused and driven to, uh, I mean, they were just really motivated to go out and run and work and, and to get after it. It was, it was a lot of fun to watch. Trevor Walker was one of your best runners all year. He saved his best for last here in his varsity career. What was the key to his success here as a senior? Uh, again, I think it was more determination than anything. He just decided that he, he wanted to do a little bit better than he'd been doing. And not that he hadn't done well in the past, but he just worked hard this summer and uh, had a good base, came in and worked hard, ran, and just got out there and got after it. And I think he gained a little bit of mental toughness. Uh, he learned kind of towards the end of the, of the race that he could hang in there and and go even when he got a little bit tired or when there started being some pain. And that's, that's a huge thing to, on the mental side is being able to deal with some pain. I'm sure Joel Pogue was also mentally tough for you as a senior. What did he show you uh, here in his final season? Oh, he's, uh, he's always a good leader. I mean, he goes out and he leads by example. I mean, he's going to give it everything he has every meet. So, uh, I mean, he's just a fine, outstanding young man that will fight and, and claw to the very end. Madden Ladwig was another standout for your team. You say he got better as the season went along. What did you like about Madden? Well, he's just a, kind of like Joey's a tough kid. I mean, he, he uh, one of our team awards is the Fighting Bronco, which was kind of like holding the rope. Who you'd want holding the rope if you're on the side of a, a cliff? But uh, that's just kind of kid he is. He's going he's gonna to make sure that he comes through when it counts. And he, he, ran, he always runs well in, under pressure and in big meets. Fifth place at the regional after finishing fourth the year before that. It's such a tough road to hoe in getting to the state meet out of 5A Region 2, like you mentioned, the toughest region in the state. What will it take to break through? Well, I think, I think the kids, even though we didn't make it this year, they gained some confidence. And even though most of them were seniors, the, the other kids saw it and they're hungry for it. And they understand that, that hey, we've got we've to get a little bit better and we've got to be able to perform that, that day. Uh, and some of the, one of the sophomores that won the JV meet, Clayton Baker, I mean, he's, he's motivated to, to, to take that next step. And some, one of the freshmen, Matt Kiefer, I mean, they're, they're motivated. And uh, Kyle Love, the, he'll be our 
lone senior next year or that was on varsity this year anyway. And he's got he's got some stuff to prove because he didn't have a great day. He was kind of battling some illnesses and stuff. But he's he's going to be hungry and motivated to get back in and, and show what he can do. Yeah, even though you lose six seniors from your top seven on varsity, you do reload. It's not rebuild for this program, and that's got to be a comforting thought for you. It is. I mean, we, 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 we did well in the JV. I think we went 1 through 12 in the JV, but again, the district was kind of weak. These kids are going to have to step up and, and start running some, some faster times, but uh, I think they, they're up to the challenge, and they're gonna, it's going to be fun to watch them uh, progress and get better fast. Track season now cranks up for you. What do you expect from guys like Trevor and Joel and Madden in their last go-around and some of those long-distance events here in the spring? Well, they've, they've had good track seasons in the past, but I think the way that the season ended for us is a disappointment. I mean, I think that's going to really motivate them to, uh, to excel and, and be hungry to come out and compete and run some fast times because, I mean, they, they still haven't reached their potential by any means. So uh, I think we're going to see some fast times, probably faster than we've ever seen from them, and, and this, some of the school records are going to fall in those races or events. Meanwhile, to those that will return for you in the fall, what's your message overall to this team as it attacks the off season and, and the track season as well? Well, uh, pretty much uh, when we came back the Monday after regionals, we, when we started working for next year. I mean, that's, that's got to be our attitude and our uh, outlook that, that right now is going to prepare us for next year. And, and those kids have been here. I mean, uh, and that was one thing that spoke a lot of the seniors and the rest of them as well. We came back on, on Monday, and I, I really didn't want to have them run, but they wanted to run. I wanted to come back and get right after it. A few of them ran in a, another meet later on Nike South in the, the Woodlands, but uh, a lot of them just came out because they're, they're one, they want to get better. Brad, we appreciate the time. Best of luck moving forward. Thank you. Brad Patterson, head coach of the Boyd Broncos, a program that is always dreaming big, one of the best in the area. They want to be one of the best in the state.